Hey everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to add ROMs to RetroPie. So for today's video, we're going to walk through how to add additional ROMs to an already existing game collection card. This isn't going to be a video that shows you how to build a game collection card from scratch. This will be if you have a game collection card, but you want to add some additional game ROMs to it. This is the video for you. We're going to walk through a step-by-step -step process on exactly how to do that. So before we get started with anything, we do need to make note that we need to have a micro SD card reader that plugs into our regular computer through the USB port. So for today's video, I'm going to be demoing this with my Raspberry Pi 400. I find that the Raspberry Pi 400 with the Raspberry Pi operating system works extremely well for adding additional ROMs to game collection cards, but you can go ahead and use any computer that you have, whether you have a PC or a Mac, Anything will work here. The process is pretty much identical in every way. So first thing that we need to do is we need to have the ROMs that we want to add already saved to our computer. Now you could go in and you could have multiple micro SD card reader and you could load your ROMs from one game collection card to another if that's how you're sourcing your ROMs. But most people are going to be downloading them and saving them to their computer already. So here, for this video, I already put this Mega Man CX right here. This is going to be the game ROM that I demo this with today. This is actually a Mega Man 2 CX. It's a Nintendo Entertainment System hack game. So we're going to be adding this to a game collection card. So the first thing you need to do is you need to remove your game collection card from your Raspberry Pi. You're going to insert it into your micro SD card reader and you're going to insert that into your computer. Once you do that, you'll typically get a prompt on your screen. So you can see here, I've inserted that and it says open file manager. So we'll click okay. And now we can see our game collection card is on here. So once we open that up, we're going to navigate to RetroPie over here. We're not gonna go into the boot section and everybody's card might be a little bit different, but more or less, it's going to look the same way. So you're not always, you know, it might be labeled something different than RetroPie, but you're not going to go into the boot one. You'll go into the main one here. You'll find the home folder here. We'll double click on the home folder and then it brings us to the Pi folder. We'll double click on the Pi folder. Go over to RetroPie folder, double click on that. And then you'll see that's how we get to our ROMs folder here. So we'll double click on ROMs. And now you can see we have all of our game collection folders here. So this is for all the different ROMs that we have on our game collection card. And now this is where everybody's is gonna look quite a bit different depending on which games you have on your system. If you have a smaller game collection card, you might only have a handful of folders. Now, if you don't already have a folder for the system that you're gonna be adding, you just have to create one. You can go up here and create a folder. So today we're gonna to be adding a Nintendo Entertainment System hack game. So we have to make sure that for whatever ROM we're adding, we're adding it to the correct folder. So we know that the Mega Man CX here is a Mega Man 2 game hack for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So we're gonna go down to the ends here. Um, we're not gonna put it in the Nintendo Entertainment System. We're gonna look for the hack folder, which is right here, N-E-S-H. All right, so here in the NESH folder, you can see we actually have a folder dedicated to just Mega Man titles here. So we're gonna double click on that one. This particular ROM is a Mega Man 2 hack. So we're going to go into the 2 folder here. And you can see there's a bunch of other Mega Man 2 ROM hacks here. So we're gonna go now to our desktop double click, we're gonna grab the ROM here. Now, if you actually had a whole list of ROMs that all had to go into the exact same folder, you could just go over and highlight your entire list of ROMs and move them all over in one shot. I just have the one, so I'm gonna grab it, drag it over and insert it into just an open space over here on our folder. Let it go and you'll see that it adds in here. Now it automatically sorts by alphabetical order. So if we go up here and run along the Mega Man 2 titles, we'll see that the Mega Man 2 CX that we just added is here. All right, so you're probably not gonna be adding the exact same uh, ROM to the exact same folder here. So I'm gonna go back here and just show you how you would do this if you were doing something else, just to give you a couple examples. So let's say that you had a ROM you wanted to add to the N64 hacks folder. You could just go to N64 hacks, It'll open up all of your N64 hack ROMs on here. You just go over now to your desktop, you know, double click, say this wasn't the Mega Man, this was a N64 um, hack ROM here. You just drag this over 
insert it into this ROM here. And that's all you have to do. There's no save button or anything like that. Once it's fully inserted into your folder, you're good to go. It's going to automatically save it there. Nothing's going to change. Um, you know, if we were doing the same thing now for um, the regular Nintendo Entertainment System, same thing. Open it up. All your ROMs for the NES are right here. Same thing. Go over, drag your, your ROM file over, insert it into the folder here, and you're good to go. It's that simple. And again, there's no saves or anything like that. Once you X out of here, you're good to go. So we'll jump back in just to verify that it did go into that folder and save correctly. So we'll just go through this process one more time. Home, Pi, RetroPie, ROMs. We are gonna go into the NESH for hacks, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, and there it is right there, Mega Man 2 CX. So that's all you need to do here to add ROMs to your existing RetroPie game collection card. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. We've just gone over the step-by-step -step process for adding ROMs to your pre-existing game collection card. It's a super easy process, but if you do go through this and you mess around with too many files or you delete something by mistake or misplace something, you could corrupt your entire game collection card. So it's super important that you just take your time and make sure that you're precise and you put files exactly where they need to go. You don't want to go and put an N64 file into a Nintendo Entertainment System file because you could totally mess up your entire game collection card. So definitely be really careful. Take your time. Don't do this if you're in a rush. As long as you put everything where it needs to go and you don't mess around with too much stuff in here, you'll be perfectly fine and your card will not have any issues whatsoever. So again, that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different tutorials, gameplay demos, and reviews on various products. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.